Hi everyone, welcome to the Another Vision channel and today I want to tell you about some project that caught my eye recently, namely a full-blown game simulation where every NPC's brain is replaced with ChatGPT. Here's what I'm talking about. On GitHub there is a project that has a model city with 25 inhabitants who are controlled with ChatGPT. And while they were living in this model city, some really crazy things happened. Which things? I'll tell you in this video. But first, like, subscribe and let's get started. So what happened? Well, like nothing really, they just started planning their days, having relationships with each other, organizing events and inviting each other to them and much much more. I really like this project and here I found another one, much much more fascinating. And its idea is just incredible. Somebody thought, well, if those AIs just do nothing and hang around, why not give them a job? So he built a video game company and gave every AI a job in this company. But how is it even going to work? Here is how. You tell each AI which job position are they taking, like you, Mr. Small AI, are going to be a CEO, and you, Mr. Small AI, are going to be a CTO, and you will develop and you will test. And then you allow them to make decisions according to their job role, analyze the consequences, and improve each other's work. Like. If they were really smart people with a tendency to self-develop actually and here's what happened they really took their job roles so you can see here is the ceo here is the coding team testing team and documentation if you are related to the it industry can you notice some very small detail in the screen that's super outdated if not i'll tell you about it later more so there is a sequence of communication where on each step it's described who talks to whom. It really helps the teamwork. For example, here you see how the coding team gets commands from the CTO. But it doesn't stop here. Here is the QA step, just like in a real company. A tester AI tells a coder AI that it found an error. And when we are talking about coding errors, tester AIs are super good at it. Because they don't just find errors, but they actually help fix errors. It's super important for the end product of this neural network video game company. Why? That's because of hallucination. When ChatGPT doesn't know the answer for sure, there is a very high probability that it will start inventing things. Usually, we need a human on the other end to verify the information provided by ChatGPT and tell when it's hallucinating. But in this situation, another instance of the same ChatGPT is doing the hallucination check just fine. And then, after the code is ready, the end user installs the game, plays it, and gives it a score. Here you see how the process goes all the way from assigning roles to brainstorming to writing the code. Here is the game five in a row that was first written without a graphical interface. Then the developers started working on it. And all the actors here are just avatars of the same chat GPT. That's what's the most incredible. So what's the small detail that I mentioned earlier? It's the waterfall lifecycle model of development. The authors of the project mentioned that it's a very stable and proven model of development. Here, as a software developer, I want to give some background. The waterfall model was popular in 80s, 90s and early 2000s. The main point of the waterfall model is that you develop software in one piece. This one piece consists of multiple steps like design, coding and testing. But this whole one piece can take one year, two years and even more. So if you find some errors during the test phase, it's possible that two years have passed since the design phase. And somebody found out that unlike constructing buildings, you can actually do very small iterations like one week, two weeks, and then you can fix the design errors very quickly, once in one or two weeks compared to one or two years. So while it's fine for the ChatGPT video game company to use the waterfall model, this model is not very flexible. And possibly that if this video game company was using some of the agile lifecycle models, they would have even better final product. But even with the waterfall model, this AI video game company made a fine product for the end user. And that's before you know the main fact. All that I was describing was done in less than 7 minutes in under $1. That's incredible. 
And by the way, five in a row is not the only game that they can do. For example, here is Pong. But here one can say Pong and five in a row are games that are highly overused and uh, exist on GitHub in open source repositories in excess quantities. So is this AI video game company only capable of copying what already exists? So here I have two good news for you. First of all, this video game company project is open source and it's available on GitHub, so you can start your own video game company. And the second good news is that somebody has already done that. And there are plenty of much more complex games and other software available on the GitHub that was built using this AI development company. And just look at that. They can do much more complex software than just simple video games. For example, they can make notes, password generators and even a video player. And here I want you to note that all it was made with GPT 3.5. From my personal experience, I can tell that GPT 4 works much, much better, but it costs 30 times more in terms of API calls. So if GPT 3.5 cost $1 to make an app, then in GPT 4 it would cost $30 but maybe with much better results. Crazy times we are living in. Nowadays, AIs can not only learn how to play video games, but even create them. So what if we ask AI to write a video game, then to learn to play this video game and find the flows in the game loop and then improve the video game like as a developer. So we would create an endless loop of improving the video game. That would be a very interesting experiment and I hope we will see it soon. Also, I find it very interesting that the best way to work with ChatGPT is not to have a single avatar, but actually to have like 20, 30 different avatars and make them communicate and find the best answer together. I would say it's the best depiction of the phrase that two heads are always better than one, even if you have two heads with exactly the same brain. In terms of ChatGPT, it's super strange, but it works. What do you think? When will AI take over the game dev industry? Write your opinion in the comments below. This was Analog Vision channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye all, I'll go and generate myself a video game for tonight and see you in the next video.